Okay, so, uh, you know, lately uh, a lot of people see me on the street and they say, Oh, you're, you're the blogger. Yeah. Hey, I haven't heard from you for a while. You still got a blog? Uh, the police been leaving you alone. <clears throat> I said, yeah, the cops been leaving me alone, but uh, a leopard never changes his spots. So, um, my battle, which we've been seeing a lot lately about other cultures, got problem with the police, and defund the police and all that. Inquiry for this, inquiry for that. If you fart, they want an inquiry. Uh, that's with people that has money. So, myself, a welfare bum, which there's hundreds and thousands like me, that the police take advantage of. And last night, <clears throat> I just saw behind me, on Global News, there was a story, and uh, it grabbed my ADHD attention. Let's see if we can see it here. First responders in New Brunswick who are struggling with mental health issues can now get the help they need by text. It's a pilot project launched by a former paramedic who understands the toll the job can take. As Tim Rozelle tells us, it's believed to be the first of its kind in Canada. When the job is done and your nightmare is over, it can be just beginning for those who protect us every day. A promotional video highlights the new crisis text line offered by Rossay based Hope for Heroes Canada. Founder Michael Johnston says his organization is partnering with Kids Help Phone to offer 24-7 confidential assistance to first responders who may be dealing with trauma or mental challenges. Johnston, a former paramedic diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, says texting is discreet. You could be in your, your vehicle that you use at work with your partner and maybe not be comfortable to talk about it there. So this is a kind of an anonymous way. <clears throat> texting is normal. It looks like you're on your phone, maybe doing something else. But really, you could be having a conversation that's, that could save your life. Fredericton Police Sergeant Bobby Simmons Beauchamp says the texting program can take away the stigma of mental health struggles. Now, <clears throat> Bobby Simmons Beauchamp, she's the one that led the raid in this place. She's the one that went on a personal vendetta against moi. She's the one that falsely accused me to be a pedophile. She is the most evil police officer in the Fredericton Police Force. Now let's see what, what she says. I just want to warn people here. And this, whoops. ...of her brother in the year 2000. Also a PTSD sufferer, Simmons Beauchamp says she's glad she sought help years ago. But I can tell you that I had some very, very dark days. And I had some very, very long nights. And if I had had this tool, I'm sure some of those nights wouldn't have been as long. Or maybe some of those points wouldn't have been as dark. Because I did have the, the option in the moment to reach out to someone. The program contained... Okay, enough of that. What is... A woman that suffers from mental illness, as she says, bipolar, doing carrying a gun. That's what I want to know. So, um, I guess the Fredericton Police has not didn't take my complaint seriously. What I did with the new Chief of Police, Roger Brown, which uh, Roger's a good guy, Newfoundlander, but I sent him a 10, what, 14 part series of my complaints with videos and evidence there's a lot of things that's wrong with the Fredericton police which I never seen them stop people riding a bicycle with no helmet I haven't seen that this summer maybe you did but we're starting a series after the election I'm going to show you videos of my battle with the Fredericton police force uh, to be falsely accused to be a pedophile and don't even receive an apology. Plus, they haul me in court when I put the civil suit. They want me to pay them $4,000. That's not going to happen. But to see her, and to she, she will go after people with mental illness and take advantage of them. And there she is, the spokesperson of the police for people with mental illness. This is not right. And stay tuned. Uh, there's, uh, there's uh, like I said, I send... I send the parts to Roger Brown very slowly 
in the space of maybe four or five months. You don't want to overload because everybody has their own personal story about the Fredericton police. Has they been, have they been leaving me alone for the past uh, year, two years? Of course, of course. Uh, they don't, uh, I mean, they want to come after me for bullshit, like falsely accuse me to be a pedophile. Uh, we have some bad, bad cops in there. And what's that? What's happening? My like friend was all. I seen him on the street last week. The the establishment supports the bad cops because they're union. I think there's a place that they shouldn't be unionized, and that's the police because the establishment supports the bad cops, and we do have bad cops. But uh, anyway, we're gonna start a series, and Bobby Simmons Beauchamp to be the spokesperson for the Fredton Police Force on issues for uh, mental illness, that's a big, big step backward. Stay tuned.